so there is an ocean here and along this ocean there is some land so there is a property which has three plots A, B and C so a property dealer who has to sell these three plots is now confused he wants to decide the price at which he should sell these plots now we know that more the area more would be the selling price but with that area there is one more factor that affects the selling price which is the ocean frontage now what is ocean frontage ocean frontage is actually the distance along the property that lies next to the ocean so this distance which is along the property which is adjacent to the ocean is actually ocean frontage again this distance for plot b which is along the ocean is the ocean frontage again this is ocean frontage for plot c now more the ocean frontage more is the selling price so which out of these three plots do you think would have the highest selling price if i look at ocean frontage so what the property dealer sees is that this land is actually in a shape of a triangle and with this he draws the boundaries of each of these properties so this is property a this is property b and this is the third plot or property you can say this is plot c what he observes is that this is the entire land is a huge triangle and he also observes that the lines which are dividing these plots are also parallel so as soon as we see parallel lines in a triangle what can we conclude we know from the basic proportionality theorem from the basic proportionality theorem we know that if a line is parallel to one of the sides of the triangle then it would divide the triangle in the same ratio he found the distance along the total distance along the ocean was 100 and distance for plot a the bottom most distance this was 36 this was 24 for plot b and for plot c he finds out 20 now all he needs to do is he needs to find the ocean frontage or this distance which is along the property near to the sea again this distance and this distance so let's say this is x this is y and this is z so he wants to find x y and z accordingly he can fix the prices so let's use basic proportionality theorem to find these three distances so this is what we have let's say this is x if this is x then this entire distance would be this entire distance would be 100 minus x because total is 100 x plus 100 minus x should give me 100 let's call let's name this big triangle pqr so let's say this is p this is q this is r and let's look at this line which is parallel to rq let's call this as s and t so we have this triangle pqr and there's this line st which is parallel to one of the sides of the triangle pqr which is qr so st is parallel to qr so i can apply basic proportionality theorem so i can say that by bpt which is basic proportionality theorem what i can say is that ps by sq ps by sq should be equal to pt by tr so i get ps by sq should be equal to pt by tr now if i substitute these with the values i know ps is 36 sq is 24 plus 20 44 pt is x and tr is 100 minus x because we know pr is 100 so this would be 100 minus x now solving this what do i get cross multiplying 36 into 100 minus x should be equal to 44x or i can say 3600 would be equal to 44x plus this 36x so i get 80x is equal to 3600 x would be 3600 divided by 80 so if you divide this 
you would get 45. So x comes out to be 45. So I get that x which is the distance along A next to the ocean is 45 and since this plus this is total 100, we got x is 45, so the other part would be 55. Since 45 plus something should give me total 100, I get this as 55. Now what I need to find is y, which is the distance along plot B which is next to the ocean. Again to find why I can apply BPT, look at this small triangle. Let's call this triangle PQR now. Let's name this triangle as PQR which is a small triangle and let's say this side is ST. So again if I apply BPT in PQR you can see that ST is parallel to QR. So PS by SQ should be equal to PT by TR if I apply BPT here. So I can say 36 by 24 should be equal to 45 divided by Y. This distance is Y. So what do I get? From here I can say 36 Y is 45 into 24 or I can say y is 30. So I get y as 30. So now my y comes out to be 30 and if this is z which is the ocean frontage of C is z then I know that y plus z should be equal to 55. I know y is 30. So this gives me that z would be 55 minus 30 which is 25. So I get y is 30, z is 25. So now I've got for each 45, 30, 25 and so now the property dealer can decide that A has maximum ocean frontage. So even though you see that A has lesser area, it looks as if A has lesser area than the other two. Because it has more ocean frontage, he can sell this also at a higher price than it would have if he would have just seen the area. So this is how he uses basic proportionality theorem to find the ocean frontage and accordingly decide the selling price. So we know that basic proportionality theorem states that if there is a line that is parallel then the ratio of sides would be equal. Now let us look at the converse of basic proportionality theorem. What does the converse say? The converse says that if the ratio of sides is equal then the line should be parallel. So now for converse you have a line that would divide it into two equal ratios. All you need to s prove is that that line would actually be parallel to the third side. So say we have a triangle. Now I draw a line on this triangle. Let's say that this is line. Let's say this is line L which I draw on this triangle. I draw it in such a way that it intersects AB at point D and say AC at point E. And we say that the ratio is also equal. We given that the line dividing two sides in the same ratio. So we also know that AD by DB is equal to AE by EC. So this is what we are given. What we want to find is, so this is what we are given. What we need to find is then the line must be parallel to the third side. That is this line L should be parallel to the third side which is BC. So I need to find that proof that L is parallel to BC. I can say L or DE. DE is, DE produced is actually line L. So I can say DE is to prove that DE is parallel to BC. Now how do I move forward from this? Well, if this line is not parallel, then there would be some other line which would be parallel to BC. 
from this point D, I can draw many lines. If line L is not parallel, I can draw one line which would be parallel to BC. Let's say that this line is parallel to BC. And let's call this F. Let's say that DF is parallel to BC. So we draw a line DF which is parallel to BC. As soon as I get parallel lines, what can I apply? The basic proportionality theorem. So applying basic proportionality theorem, since this line is parallel to this line, I can say AD by DB would be equal to AF by FC. So from by basic proportionality theorem, I can say that AD by DB would be equal to AF by FC. But I already know that this holds, we are already given that AD by DB is equal to AE by EC. So already I have this. Now I know that AD by DB is equal to AF by FC. Also AD by DB is equal to AE by EC. So these two should be the same. That is my next step. I can equate these two. So now, what I want to prove is that this line DE, L is parallel to BC. What I have got is that AF by FC is equal to, now AF by FC is equal to AE by EC. That is what I have got. Now what if I add one on both these sides? That would not change the equality. So let me add 1 to both these sides. I add 1 to both these sides. So if I add 1, I can take the LCM. LCM here would be FC. If I take LCM as FC, I would get AF plus 1 into FC which is FC and this would be equal to this expression here LCM is EC and this would be AE plus 1 into EC which is EC again. So I get this now. Now what is AF plus FC? Let's look at here AF plus FC. So AF plus FC is actually equal to AC. So AF plus FC is AC. So here I get AC by FC. Now I want to look at AE plus EC. What is AE plus EC? So AE plus EC is again this line AC. So I get this is equal to AC by EC. So this is what I get. Now I know that AC, since AC is same on both these sides, I can say 1 upon FC is equal to 1 upon EC or I can say taking reciprocal that FC and EC are the same. Since FC is equal to EC, I can say that F and E both are the same point. So this line DF is actually the same as line E which was DE. So these both points coincide and hence F and E are the same points because FC is equal to AC, F and E are both the same points. So we know that DF was parallel to BC, but since F is equal to E, I can say that DE is parallel to BC or this line L which is nothing but DE is parallel to BC. Hence I can say that the line is parallel to BC, but this line means DE only because this line is actually DE produced. So I can say that DE is parallel to BC and this is precisely what I wanted to prove. So hence I have proved the theorem. So we have seen that with BPT that is the basic proportionality theorem the converse of BPT also holds true. So if you have any line that divides a triangle into equal ratios you can say that that line would always be parallel to the third side. So now can you answer this question? Is DE parallel to PR? When can two lines be parallel? When this line divides the two sides in the same ratio. That is QE by ER 
if that turns out to be equal to QD by DP, I can say that this line is parallel to the third side, which is PR. So let's find the ratio and see whether it's equal or not. If equal, I'll say that they are parallel. If not, they're not parallel. So let's find the ratio. QE by ER and QD by DP. So I'll find these two ratios. If they are equal, the lines will be parallel. Let's find QE by ER first. QE is 8 and ER is 24. So this is equal to 1 by 3. 8 3 is a 24. Now let's find QD by DP. QD is 6 and DP is 15. So this is equal to 5 3 is a 2 3 is a. So 2 by 5. And this is 1 by 3. Is the ratio equal? No. The ratio is not equal. And hence these lines are not parallel. 